Well, hey there, buddy. Do you want to make your weapons buff, tough, and have the life-altering side effect? Well, I have poured over all the engineering for the last... Uh, months. And now I have brain aneurysm. Ah, do I need to call a doctor? So, where was I? Uh, oh yes, there are some good, some bad, some useful, and some borderline pointless upgrades, or rather downgrades, that could be had, all by just grinding the game. Mind you, I plan on doing this for everything in engineering, so subscribe and hit the bell thingamajig for the upcoming parts in the series. Oh, but before that, this video is brought to you by my Patreon. Like, actually, literally, I did a questionnaire there a little while back, and vast majority wanted this series to be a thing. So, if you too want to join the bunch, check the link down in the description. Let's then get going with the average stuff, the things that you call being mech option, or at least everything that gets compared to. The baseline of mediocrity, if you will. First then, let's get going with the upgrades, and then with the experimentals, as per usual. Starting with Lightweight. This upgrade is a very common one for modules, but for weapons? Well, not so much. I'd say it's a decent one and offers some okay stat boosts, but it borders on wasting your materials as really the only instance where you'd use a lightweight weapon is for some weird exploration or speed gank build. In both cases, you'd not pick a weapon that needs this, or just dispense with all the weapons in the first place if you're going for exploration only. Long range, ah yes. See, for both hit scan and projectile weapons, there are two things to consider, the max range and damage fall off. With this mod, weapons basically double their range where they can actually hit the target. And here's the best part, it removes damage fall off. So be that 10 meters or 6 to 8 clicks, you will deal the same amount of damage. Oh, but better yet, for projectiles? Well, the velocity is increased as well. And the downside? 10% mass increase. Okay, this sounds OP as fuck. And frankly, it would be. Yep, because this weapon is here, you know what's coming. Sturdy. Are you sick and tired of missiles? Are you fucking done with the pack hound shitters? Well, sturdy upgrade may be just for you. Increasing the overall weapon integrity and on top providing extra bonuses like lesser heat generation and armor penetration? Now well, that sounds like a really solid choice. Which no doubt it is, but realistically you'd care more for penetration and heat reduction than the integrity. Usually you do manage to build a ship that has strong enough shields to soak up the damage and maneuverability to avoid getting one module destroyed. So I'd call integrity unnecessary, but if there's no other choice, sure, it may be a strong, <coughs> get it, choice. Focused. Okay, this one's simple. It's a long range 2.0 with few different minuses and a different positive side effect. It's not a favorite of mine and it does not have a damage falloff change, so expect to reach the target, yes, but deal shit damage. Though the armor penetration is the main start. Usually though that too really doesn't matter much, so not as good as long range, but has its uses almost equal to it. High capacity. Just a simple upgrade, just more ammo. For missiles, this is the only choice really to pick, while the rest of the weapons that has this, well, Maybe something else is better. And that would be it on the normal upgrade, so let's move on to the experimentals. In fact, let's start with the experimental that Mini convinced me to get out of the waste of materials list. The concordant sequence. So the main reason I say concordant sequence isn't useless is because in combination with regen it's actually better than two regen beams. And it also doesn't have the 12.4% damage reduction that regen does. So technically you can do more damage to the enemies and you can also help heal your friends. So it's a plus and minus depending on if you want to run regen and concordant at the same time. That's the main reason I would use it together because it's faster than two regens and there's no damage uh, loss from using concordant versus regen. Personally, I think there's no reason to pick this over phasing on pulses and bursts, or region sequence on beams, but whatever, I guess I'm just a weirdo. Anyways, next then, double braced. It's basically extra integrity. Really, this is not that good and borders on wasting materials, because if you want more integrity, just go with the main upgrade sturdy, and then put on some nice experimental instead. But if you have already what you need and look for a bit more of a solid, <coughs> get it? Topping of your cake, here you go, a plant cracker? Scramble Spectrum, the malfunctioning machine. Yeah, it can be useful to screw with your enemy, but really depends on hitting the hull. So if you got the shields down already, it's just pissing on the ashes of your enemy with this effect, rather than it being a crucial winning tool. I would say this is amazing to fuck with the full no shield hull tanks, but let's be honest, first, no one uses them because they are inferior builds, and second, missiles will rape such ships in fraction of the time. So this is just a meme experimental. 
This personal feel. Are you tired of the gimbal or turret scrubs? Do you want to make their ships useless? Well, this personal feel offers that and more. No, seriously, this is the one thing that even equipped on the smallest weapon can basically ruin any and all hope that the turret boat has on winning. And unless the gimbaled scrub knows that untargeting makes their weapons into a fixed ones and can be used normally, they too will be fucked. And seriously, folks, if you have someone using the shit on you, just untarget and use it as normal fixed weapons. Incendiary rounds. Basically, a part of the damage is converted into a thermal type. Well, for missiles and mines and other crap, this was useless. But for multi cannons, arguably, one of the best weapons in the game, this is just another way to be so versatile. Oh, and for frag cannons, I guess, as well. With this experimental, you don't need to go get a laser. Just full power to the dark The force shell. Okay, up front, I think it's just a meme. Cannons are notoriously hard to use, but they do pack a punch, and once you dial in the targeting, well, if you fight against a flight assist off wannabe pro, yes, it can be quite irritating. But let's be fucking honest, all you want to do with this is just push your friends around, nothing more. Ion Disruption. You know what completely fucks you over? No, it's not the random functions or damage modules, it's coming to a complete dead stop. There's nothing worse in PvP or PvE than just stopping and not moving, giving your opponent a free reign to max out the damage on you for a rather long time, practically ruining any chances of recovering after that. This is what makes the Truster Reboot Mines so evil. But of course, as mines go, they're hard to use. Multi-servo, slightly increased fire rate for the extra power draw. I mean, what else do you need to know? It's a simple topping that is useful for maxing out or evening out some stuff. That's decent, but like other things in today's list, just average. And there you go, some pretty decent, others barely decent. Altogether, they set the bar for the average upgrade. While they're okay to pick, like with the high cap missile, which is the only decent thing, others are, well, less encourageable. Still, what do you think? Are these just okay? Or are you morally outraged, like a soccer mom whose little darling got booted out of the team after you sucked the coach's RNG's limp dick? Well, let me know down below. And while you're there, share the video and all that good stuff too. As the next up, we have the good weapon engineering. Or if you don't want to learn about that stuff, uh, maybe go peek at the things you should avoid in the waste of materials list. Well, that too will be down below. But if you excuse me for now, it's time to go sabotage some children's sports teams. For shits and giggles. Usually, you do manage to build a ship that has strong shields enough to soak up the damage and maneuverability to avoid getting one module done. <laughs> there goes the blooper.